When the Safi family went to Pakistan 40 years ago, fleeing Soviet occupation, they were five in number. Now they are 35. The parents died and these are the children and grandchildren, all but three of them born and raised in Pakistan. Now they say Pakistan has forced them to leave. We've been living like thieves. If we wanted to go outside, we had to choose the routes where there were no police to avoid being arrested. If we were intercepted, we'd have to bribe the police or face being arrested. The return of this family is part of a massive operation that began last year. According to a Human Rights Watch report, Pakistan has been home to around 2 million Afghan refugees for most of the last 40 years. In the second half of 2016, the report says 365,000 registered refugees were pushed out by a toxic combination of deportation threats and police abuses. About 200,000 undocumented Afghan refugees in Pakistan returned in the same period. Human Rights calls the exodus the world's largest unlawful mass forced return of refugees in recent times. The report accuses the UN's refugee agency, UNHCR, of having promoted the forced return by giving cash to refugees who were willing to return and by failing to provide them with accurate and up-to-date information on conditions in Afghanistan. I think it's fair to characterize it as a, as a looming crisis. Um, given the record high number of returnees in 2016 and the predictions of similarly, similarly high or higher uh, numbers of returns of both undocumented and refugee returnees in 2017, uh, combined with the record level of internal displacement caused by conflict, natural disasters, and other issues, um, I think we're looking at a very serious humanitarian challenge. Relations between Pakistan and Afghanistan are poor, with each country accusing the other of harboring armed opponents. Some suggest Pakistan is trying to put pressure on Afghanistan through a massive expulsion of refugees. The Turkham border crossing is constantly choked with returnees. It's the peak of winter. Most of these people are in utter destitution. We are living in a very difficult situation now. Our children are not studying anymore. We don't have a job. We've lost everything that we've had. We have to start our life from beginning. I pray to God that he would make it easy for us. The Safis are originally from Kunar province, one of the strongholds of the Taliban. But they're not willing to go there. Instead, they're seeking to rent a house here in Nangarhar. They feel totally helpless here, but say they have no choice. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.